This movie describes how to use the activity 10 frames, counting strategies. Here we have two 10 frames, and we can place counters into both frames. To add counters to a frame, I simply drag this gold square. As I do, more counters appear, and let me leave that here. And in my other frame, I'll place some counters as well. Okay, there we go. Now I'll press ready to hide my gold squares, and my goal now is to figure out the total number of counters. One way to help that process is to drag counters from frame to frame. So for example, I might drag three of these counters from the frame on the right to the frame on the left. Now I can immediately see that there are 10 counters in the frame on the left and two counters here. So altogether, there are 12. To play again, I'll press reset and I'll drag my gold squares to put some more counters into my frames. Okay. Again, I'll press ready to hide those gold squares, and this time I'll do something a little different at the start. I'll press show numbers. This reveals that there are nine counters in this frame and eight counters in that frame. And when I drag a counter from one frame to another, the numbers are updated. So I can see that there are altogether 10 plus seven or 17 counters. The second page of our model shows three frames. And again, this works the same way. I drag my gold squares, place my counters into the frames, and then press ready. I can show numbers if I like, and as before, I can drag counters from one frame into any of the others. So by dragging these counters, I can make it really easy to see that all together, I have 20 counters. Finally, there's the frames game. In this game, the computer has already placed the counters into the frames for us, and our job is to figure out how many counters there are in total. So I might do a little work here to put 10 in this frame, and then I see I have 10 plus 5 plus 2. So altogether, how many do I have? 17. I'll type 17 into this box, and I'll check my answer by pressing this button. And yes, I got it correct. To play the next problem, I'll press this button, and Sketchpad has placed new random assortment of counters into my frames, and I play just as I did before. And if I wish, I can press show numbers, and that gives me some added information. So this explains how to play the three different frame games that are part of the tens frame activity.